Today on Express, internships in the nation's capital, the fall film series at South City, and the Tanner Farm. Stay tuned, Express starts now. Welcome to Express, I'm your host, David Toscano. We are heading into the holiday season, but that also means students that are looking at internships. How about an opportunity in Washington, D.C.? Reporter Johan Fontenot has a story on internship opportunities on the nation's capital. Salt Lake Community College now offering students this chance for an internship in Washington, D.C. This program allows students to choose from a variety of interest in politics, the FBI, and art history, just to name a few. Internship benefits students because of the knowledge that they receive. So it's a great experience, not only for the skills they earn, but also learning about our country, about our history, and Washington, D.C., and what it can offer. Students, however, will have to gain sponsorships in order to assist with their internship. Uh, the sponsors really come from Student Life and Leadership and from the college as itself. Each student has to make an application. Uh, we, myself, and someone from Student Life and Leadership, we interview the students. And because we have limited resources, we will um, select a number of students which the college can help defray expenses in terms of housing, uh, certainly travel. Some internships are paid, others are not paid, so we can help students with additional costs there. Shari strongly insists that students who are interested should apply early and ahead of time as internship positions are limited. The fall film series at the South City campus is back for its third year. Once again, they have selected films around the theme. This year's theme was the classics of the 90s. Greg Mooney has a story for you to catch the free flicks. Salt Lake City Community College is representing the cultural influence of the 90s through film in its most classic sense of the word. The iconic film series is screening media juggernauts such as Pulp Fiction, Clueless, Goodfellas, and Rushmore. Film has infiltrated culture and drives the lexicon of the future. For many, the movies of the 90s bring with them a sense of nostalgia. For the rest of you, this might be your introduction into films from that decade or inspire your interest in the film department at SLCC. I think it's rad. The movies they chose are way more intense than I thought they would be, like Goodfellas and Pulp Fiction and even Rushmore. They're all a little bit more edgy compared to some of the other ones I've seen that are like in the 40s or 50s. Pulp Fiction would be the one I would want to see because I like to know what everyone's talking about and if there's a lot of hype behind that movie, then I want to see it. You know, Pulp Fiction is one of those movies that you gotta watch it at least once a year. Yeah. So, oh yeah, I'm hyped that they're showing it because it's my yearly show I gotta watch. So I'm ready, bring it on. Movies have a way of connecting people from all walks of life through a mutual connection to culture. Just as important as the movie itself is the discussion that follows when the crowd is involved in a Q and A about thoughts and impact of the movies on today's culture. Your last chance to see a film in this series is Wednesday, November 7th at 6 p.m with the screenings of the Wes Anderson film, Rushmore, at the screening room on the South City campus. For more, for more info, go to calendar.slcc.edu. Each year, the Tanner Forum sponsors a major event featuring a culturally relevant speaker to present to Slick and the community at large. This year's speaker was Van Jones of CNN. Reporter Nathan Johnson has a story on the work and influence of the Tanner Forum. Salt Lake Community College presents the Tanner Forum on Social Ethics. The Tanner Forum features nationally and internationally recognized authors, journalists, and political commentators. Van Jones is an attorney, political commentator, social activist, best-selling author, and regular CNN contributor. I caught up with Marcos Aragon, the editor-in-chief of Salt Lake Community College's newspaper and media site, The Globe, 
and asked him what he found interesting about Van Jones's speech regarding aspects of change in the world of journalism. One of the things that Van said specifically in his uh, pre-forum like forum talk with the students, the exclusive one for the students, is that he said, um, people pull out their phone and just assume that the information is there, when in reality it was journalists that put that information there. You know, we're the ones that are out here um, talking to people, gathering in sources, putting together the stories and things like that. It's not your phone. It's not magically found there. It's, it's the work of uh, reporters all around the world compiling and doing all that stuff um, to put that information on your phone. The Tanner Forum enhances the college's mission as a community-based learning institution. It provides opportunities for students, faculty, staff, and the wider community to come together for a thoughtful examination of critical issues in contemporary social ethics. This event is held in Salt Lake Community College's Grand Theater and is free to the public. The Tanner Forum on Social Ethics is funded in part by the OC Tanner Company. Now let's check out what's happening around campus. Registration is now open for spring 2019. Make sure you register early to guarantee a spot in the classes you need or want. If you're not sure what classes you need for your program, make sure to schedule a time with your program advisors. Registration is open from now to January 6th. To register for the spring 2019 semester, go to my.slick.edu and click on registration. The fall concert from the Slick Dance Company is coming up. This year's production is no status quo. Through a diverse body of work, the concert will address social issues and seek to support the Slick community through the unifying nature of music and dance. The concert will be November 16th and 17th at 7.30 p.m. in the Grand Theater. Admission is free for students with ID and a canned food donation. General admission is $5. For more information, visit calendar.slcc.edu. That's it for this episode of Express. To watch this episode and past episodes of Express, go to youtube.com slash slccsmc or find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at slccsmc. I'm David Toscano. Thanks for watching Express. Thank you.